Welcome to Hacking DNA once again. Today, in this video, what we are going to see is the PFSense firewall. You can get overview of the PFSense firewall on only on Hacking DNA. Okay, guys, this is the website from where you can download the PFSense firewall. It's the open source firewall, right? And PSNSE stands for Packet Filter with some sense. Okay, so here is a link of the PFSense ISO. Just click here and download the PFSense firewall. Okay, okay. Let's have some descriptions about PFSense. PFSense is an open source free BSD firewall. It can also work as a router. And this project is start in 2004 as a mono wall project, but that you cannot install it on your hard drive because mono wall is not meant for that. But now, PSN, so you can install it on a hard drive and you can save all the settings, right? Okay, so now a special thanks from. Hacking DNA to these guys, the PFSense team who developed this PFSense firewall. Thanks to Chris, Scott, Bill, Eric, Matthew, Mark, Jim. Special thanks to you all from Hacking DNA because they guys are built the PFSense firewall and it is helping. For us also, for me also, for everyone who want to work with firewall and to know more about firewall. Okay, so let's move forward. Okay, with this, I have like a small scenario here on the background of my desktop. Okay, here you can see that in the middle of that. There is a PSN firewall. On the right hand side, there is a bad box, and on the left hand side, Kali Linux is running. And here is a lot of scenario. You can see that. Okay, first see this. Then I'll come to that picture after this. Uh, so, this is a very simple scenario. In the middle of that, there is a PSN firewall, which can also work as a router. On the left hand side, there is a Kali Linux which has IP of 75.10 and it is on the virtual LAN one. And on the right hand side, there is a bad box with on the virtual LAN 2 and the IP of that bad box is 101.101. From the PSN firewall, you can create the virtual LANs also. And that's what I have did. Right now, in this image, I'm showing the logical view, and this is the real scenario that I have created with the PSN firewall. Right? So, this is the console view of the PSN firewall, and these are my operating system, Backbox, Kali. You see the IP address 75.10, Kali, and here you can see that the Kali IP address 75.10, and my Backbox is 101.101, and here you can see that. Okay. I'll show you the IP address of my back box and here you can see that 101.301 there's uh, let me check there is a proper connectivity of that or not yes it's ping 192.168.201.1 this is my gateway address and here it is yes clear it when I pin to my gateway 25.1 okay it's pinging so there is a proper connectivity between the firewall and the systems okay and also you can check from firewall also for that you have to press enter the 7 option 7 option is for pin then it will ask you to enter the system IP on the van side I have a Kali Linux which has IP or something like that and when I enter it it will show you that it's up on the network and 
when I'm paying my back box IP is 101 dot 101 and I press enter okay it's also running so now we are confirmed that our system is working is it in a working stage okay so we, how you can access oh how you can access your firewall it's very really easy there's another good feature that the PSN developer team added and that is the GUI interface you can access the PSN's GUI interface through your Firefox and that's what we are going to Firefox and this time I call invoke Firefox through the command line ok guys here it is when I press enter you can see that my Firefox is open in this video sorry in this system and it's, it's inside my firewall ok let me log out from this window first ok when you open this you can do it again when I open my firewall and when I press the gateway address, it will look like this. It asks you for the username and password. Okay, the default username of PSN is admin and the password is PSN. When you press enter, it will take you to the dashboard page. And here is your dashboard page where you will find the information of your system, your interfaces and other information. You can add other features also here like the uh, suppose I want uh, gateway information so I select gateway and okay so come on. let's take something else. So I want a firewall log. I click here on a firewall log and as you can see that the firewall logs is coming there are other features like this general setup where you can set up your general information from user manager you can create accounts of users like this I have created two users one is my angry lake the target and the admin okay and this is a set of wizard here you can from here you can update upgrade your firmware of the PSNs from interfaces you can assign your interfaces like LAN LAN that I have assigned to this scenario. I assign LAN to my bad box on the VLAN side, VLAN 2 side and LAN interface for the Kali Linux. This is just a small scenario that you are watching right now, but it's good for practice these types of things you can learn lots of things you can learn networking you can learn the concept of networking like you learn about the VPN you can configure your VPN here and you can make your own scenarios you can learn networking is the best part with this PSN server and there are other features like you can create aliases, you can give name to particular service, right? Like NAT, NAT, you can also create your rules, rules from where you can you can open the ports what you want. If you want, you don't want to open your telnet, then you can block that port also. And so if you want to open that, you can open port like this. This these ports are open for my LAN interfaces and when I click on the LAN tab this will show me that these ports are open for my LAN interface. This is just for example that I have opened and also if you configure your VPN or LTTP VPN you can see that you have also created some rules. Okay there are some other options like traffic shaper, traffic shaper is also a good option, virtual IP, services, there are lots of services in this PSN file where you can configure your RIP also. I also, as I told you that you can use this PSN firewall as a router, so you can configure your RIP also. You can do lots of things, you can see that if you know more about networking then this is 
the best wall that you can add on your project and other things okay let's go to the VPN here you can configure VPN to IP check into TP open VPN and PPTP right okay let's move to the status part and we have very less time okay from here you can see your dashboard you can see your DHCP leases okay and your gateways when you click on gateways be sure you have the gateways of the system like run run from here you can configure your load balancer packet log you can log the packet here is the queues when you click on queue it will show you the LAN LAN it's loading right now it will show you how much traffic is coming from your interface and how many packets are dropped how many packets are lots of other details right so from there you can find cube inside the traffic shaper you can shape your traffic through the traffic shaper and the other details you can see the RRD graphs already are the as known as the round robin database these graphs show you the process information process of information uh, like throughput to throughput information the graph is look like this the state information uh, it will look like this and there are other things like traffic I mean, traffic is coming okay Okay. And there are other features of this file. And these are diagnostic tools of the firewall where you will find ARP table, authentication. You can back up your firewall also, and it's too easy. You can also see the DNS lookup option. When you click on DNS lookup, and suppose I enter the IP192. 16875. Okay, one clicking the deck. And when I click on the DNS lookup, it will resolve it. Okay, when I press 10. Oops, it's not resolving. Oh, so it's not working right now, but next time it still work. Okay, there are other features like factory default, packet capture, PF info. It will show you the the firewall information, like the interface states, like the table states, and other details. Here is information of tables. Uh, suppose you want to see the total subnet and it will show you your subnet table. Right? So, this is how you can access your PSN's firewall. You can use the PSN's features and you can also do lots of testing with this firewall. I will remember guys the flood advertised to on Kali Linux. I have posted that tutorial on the Kali Linux. Let's use that tool. But before that, what I'm going to do is I am using this traffic graph. I'll show you one example. Okay, here you can see that on the one side, almost there is zero traffic is coming. But when we use this tool of stress testing, load advertise six. You know that now how you can run this command so from this tool, right? Right, advertise. Six and my interface. My interface is going to right now. And when we start, here you can see that a straight line 
it shows that too much is traffic coming from my LAN interface right a small tool can send too much of traffic on my LAN interface and when I okay when you you can see that traffic is in MBPs on my small tool added I say sending me a traffic of 1.5 to MBPs that's too much and when you open Wireshark, you can also see that what type of packets this tool is sending. So right now my Wireshark is opening and first thing as you know Go to the capture, select interface, click on your interface and click start. And as I click start, you can see that traffic, the traffic this tool is sending is advertise, neighbor advertise packets using IP, ICMP, U6 protocol. Okay, you can see that the amount of traffic is going to my is on my interface right so just see this one more thing when I stop this too see what happened all the traffic goes down 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 right like this okay from the PSN firewall this is just a small example you can learn security also You can block that port. Now you know that my when I use this tool, the advertise X, it sends the neighbor advertise packets. If you are an administrator, then this is a good thing to learn. If any attacker using this type of tool is sending IPv6 protocol it is using IPv6 protocol and just analyze which part of just analyze which port these guys are using and which protocol these guys are using just close that protocol and the ports so that the attack will never perform and also there is a feature of traffic shaper in Pearson's firewall through that you can drop these packets so if this heavy amount of traffic is coming from LAN interface, these packets are dropped on the power. So it will never go, never bypass the power, never go through the power. Right? So these things you can do with Pearson's power. This is a small overview. Lots of things you can do with this power. Thanks for watching this video. And keep following us on YouTube, Facebook, and anywhere else you can find me. Right. Thanks for watching video, and thanks to Christian's team once again. Keep following HackingDNA.com.